Over the past decade, New Orleans has done a lot more than just recover. We've been re-engineering ourselves, reimagining what we can be, creating the kind of city economically, culturally, and socially that we always wanted to have. There's tremendous new growth in the city across multiple platforms. So for all of the people that are coming from wherever on the planet they make a decision from, we want them to know when they come to New Orleans, they're going to have so many things to choose from. All they'll be thinking about is how soon can they get back. New Orleans is really at the top of its game in food right now. There are chefs coming from all over to come here and cook and putting all the, their love and passion into their own businesses. There's so many new restaurants that have the classics, but also have the new ones. Definitely do Commander's Palace, Emeralds, Arnaud's, and then try some of the fun stuff too, and be hungry. <laughs> is known for a lot of the classics like the Sazerac and the Ramos Gin Fizz, but current trends in the cocktail world are really birthing here in New Orleans and the community is definitely on the forefront of the industry. If you live in New Orleans, you can actually live the way that people work very, very, very hard all of their lives to hopefully live one day. I mean, you know, that's the way we live every day here. The music scene right now in New Orleans is in great shape. The music in New Orleans is like breathing. Next to breathing, the next thing would be eating. There isn't the neighborhood that I can remember as a child that you would go into where you did not hear music on any given day. It was just part of who and what they did here. We have the tendency to feed off of each other's happiness. And so that becomes a part of how we live, the music that surrounds us and the way we celebrate our joy. The hotels are having to up their game to be competitive. The Waldorf Astoria property, which was formerly the Fairmont, came back and it's amazing. They put about $26 million into the Intercontinental. We just put about $29 million into the La Meridian. One of the great things about the New Orleans hotel scene is the actual range of kinds of properties you have here. And they're all within walking distance of all of the attractions. That's what distinguishes us from other American cities. We're looking at growing from the downtown complement of 22,000 rooms within eight tenths of a mile of each other to adding probably three or 4,000 rooms over the next three or four years. is growing. There are people that have New Orleans on their bucket list. It is just so interesting and exciting to see them as they're cruising in and see the beautiful St. Louis Cathedral. And nowhere up and down the river are you going to find that but New Orleans. It blends very nicely with what the cruise lines want. They want the passenger to have a great time while they're on shore. They promise them that they'll have a great time while they're on their vessel. And when they return to our great city, continue the good time. is the gateway to New Orleans. It's one of the first things that people experience and they see when they arrive in our city. And so it's critical that we have an airport that reflects the culture of our city, reflects the spirit of our city, and is world class in a way that offers travelers every amenity and convenience that they're looking for. We're seeing the investment of nearly a billion dollars into the riverfront, the creation of a new New Orleans neighborhood upriver from the Warehouse and Arts District. Reimagining Convention Center Boulevard from what is now a high traffic, high speed thoroughfare to more of a pedestrian park, have outdoor meeting space and outdoor cafes, outdoor food and beverage opportunities. <laughs> City Park is big. It is a big urban park, 1,300 acres. It's the regional park for Greater New Orleans. We serve the entire metro area. It will be a testament, I think, to our recovery that the park is not only repaired, but it is so much better. 
Crescent Park is a linear park along the Mississippi River, fronting the Bywater neighborhood, Bywater and Marigny, Fulberg Marigny. The thing that really speaks to most people about the park is that it gives New Orleanians a way to use and engage and have a relationship with the river like we've never had before. And you can see the river below you and be a part of the river. It's really great. The city offers so much. It appeals to a broad variety of people, not just young, not just old. We're a city for every generation. Mm-hmm.